I've come in my robe and like ready to do makeup and she's like full glam. I'm taking my new dating app profile picture after this. We did a um, beginner's makeup masterclass like a million years ago. We never actually went back and did another one. So we've decided mm. we're gonna do another beginner's makeup masterclass. Actually, this is intermediate and I also know my, sh I know I know stuff now. You were, you were very beginner back then, but you've come <laughs> a long way. You've learned a lot from professional makeup artists. Remember this brush, Joe? That's triggering for me. I used to put bronzer like this all over my face like this. So you will see how, how things have changed. The look that I'm doing today is I want to do like a bronzy, glowy, goddessy look. What are you going for? I joined this call and you said, I want to recreate my sister's <gasps> wedding makeup. And I was like, Hannah, this is going to be a 15 minute video. Like, what do you mean? But I'm going to do like a quick kind of everyday glam, what I would do if I was filming something or if I was going on like a daytime date, I suppose. So should we start with primers? I am using the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream. I don't use a primer these days. I've just put a moisturizer on, but I'm going to use a, um, the Pore Professional Pore Primer. I'm going to use that I benefit across my T-zone. Bit of background for anyone who doesn't already know everything about us. Um, Hannah has oily skin and I have normal to dry skin. I'm then gonna prime under my eyes with the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Eye Base. Love this stuff. Do you prime on your eyes, Hannah? No, I probably should. Okay. I just find that like my concealer doesn't last as well if I don't put anything under there for it to grip to. Look at your boobs in that top. Yeah, I know. Like, who is she? Is it true that your boobs get bigger with age? Where'd you hear that? I feel like mine have gotten a bit bigger this year and I, I don't know, it's like a nice surprise. <laughs> Hope that happens to me. Oh, maybe I'm wearing better bras, actually. Maybe, I'm not wearing the, yeah. Not wearing the burly t-shirt bra anymore, I'm wearing like a proper push-up bra. Foundation, I'm going in with the MAC uh, Studio Radiance Face and Body Foundation. I use the, the shade C3. I'm using Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup in the color Fawn. I would say it's satin matte finish. Mm -hmm. You're going for like the opposite of what I'm going for. This is a super lightweight, dewy kind of foundation. Very light coverage. Um, great for anyone who prefers the finish of like a tinted moisturizer or a BB cream. I get really self-conscious putting on my foundation on camera because I'm a bit like, I'm just aggressive. You are aggressive, yeah. I'll do the first layer with a brush and then I take a sponge and some MAC Fix Plus. Spritz the sponge so it's a little bit damp and then I just work the foundation in a little bit more with a damp sponge. Really gives a nice like natural finish. This is like literally the most flawless foundation. The oil gets trapped under the foundation. Like it doesn't come to the surface if I prime my skin properly. Wow. I don't know if everyone else has the same experience. Some people find it quite um, matte on them. Um, also, I just want to point out that my hands look very Mr. Burns-like next to my face. Just please <laughs> ignore that. I just, I'm so self-conscious about my hands. Concealer, what are we doing for concealer? I'm using the Napoleon Purtis Camera Finish Concealer. I'm using the Lancome Tonto Doll Ultra Wear All Over Concealer. So I just do a bit under my eye, a little bit out here. I usually go in twice with concealer. So I like put it on first and then I see where I might need a little bit of extra coverage. That's what I do. We look good. Yeah, we look great. So I use always a sponge to work my concealer in. I'm using the Spectrum, A. I think I'm using all Spectrum brushes actually today. And I like to replace my sponges really regularly as well because they do harbor a lot of bacteria and they're very oh hard to efficiently clean. So okay. I'd probably recommend you don't get into sponges, Hannah, because knowing you, you'll keep it for 10 years. It's like when I open like an old lipstick and that's rancid smell. <laughs> like a 10 year, 10 year old lipstick. I still have some lipsticks that I've had from like a trip to the US in 2013. Just holding on to them for sentimental value. <laughs> I bet I'm gonna forget an entire like step here because I'm distracted. And also like, I always get worried that like makeup artists see my makeup technique and will be like, that's not how you do it. This isn't a professional. We're not professionals. Okay, I'm doing Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation Sticks 
in Y505. Um, I'm just going to put my brow gel in. How come you don't um, contour stick? I contour What's... with my bronzer. If I was going out, out, I would use my Chanel cream bronzer. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm not going out. <laughs> I wish I was. I'm not going out either. I'm taking I know, but you're, you're going more glam than me today. I'm doing a thirst trap for Instagram. Exactly. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I mean, I might. We'll see how this goes. Yeah, I think you should. So this is the Benefit 24 hour brow setter. I love this. It's just a clear brow gel. I actually really love the, um, the brush on these because it really grips your brow hairs. I am dying for a lash lift. I've been using a lash serum that we don't sell. It's called IMB and they've just gone wild. So I'm desperate for a lash lift because my lashes just basically grow straight. Um, so I've put too much, um, put too much what? What did you, what did I you just, do? I just really put too much, um, contour around my <laughs> neck. I was planning to go for a run after work. So maybe I'll just go um, running and sorry. Full glam, just in case. I know you, it's very out of character, but, but I've just but started can running. You, can you run? Um, I mean, I've got legs, so. But like, I just kind can't of. imagine you'd be like Phoebe and um friends. <laughs> <laughs> I am a little bit like that, yeah. I'm using the Mac Groundwork Paint Pot. I always talk about this. If you actually want to see. Everything I spoke about in my makeup bag video, click here um, because I talked through all of these products, but it's just basically me applying them now, so. Okay, I'm actually gonna do the same. May as well do my eyes now, okay. so I'm doing the same MAC groundwork. I just do like a real like wash over my whole lid. Do you this. go, how far up do you go? Um, I go just over like the crease and then I bring yeah. it out towards the end of my brow. For those that don't know, I can open one eye at a time. It's really free. I can't even look at you. I'm completely avoiding eye contact with you right now because it scares me. I just don't really feel like going all out today. Oh, I do. I'm using the Norvina okay. Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. That's oh, fine. And I'm going to go with the color Incense, which is this one here. Pack the color on. I'm actually I was just literally the... about to use that out of the Soft Glam palette. Oh, that's I didn't great. It was the same in the Norvina. Is that in a different palette? Yeah, it's in the Soft Glam 2 palette by Anastasia. I must have put so much on my brush then, or that brush had a darker shadow on it. Look at my situation here. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? What have you done? Then? I don't know what I've done. So you go quite far, far, um, like out that way. Yeah. So I feel like I just follow the shape of my brow, really. I'm also going to do it under my eye. Is there like a specific order that you like? I can't do my eyes first. I've tried to do my eyes first and I just can't. I can't. Like it just, it just feels wrong. It feels wrong. And I wrong. think that's just I the agree. way I've grown up doing makeup. Like it would be much better for fallout, especially if you're doing like more dramatic eyes. I'm not putting any shadow on my lower lash line because I'm trying to keep this a little bit more daytime. So I'm gonna go in with your trick. I'm gonna go in with volatile. And I'm What's gonna... my trick? What do you what trick? You just you get the like the pack the one that you packed on the colour with and you just put it in the um lash line. Oh yeah, yeah, nice. I might go on to my bronzer now. Oops. I'm using the MAC MAC Refined Golden bronzer and I'm pretty precise with where I place this. This is the designer brand's angled contour brush, which I just love. Now I'm still on my, I'm gonna use a shimmer now. <laughs> yep, okay. She's still on my eyes, guys. I'm going in with summer. Um, and I'm just gonna put that in the middle. I used to hate shimmer and I am like loving shimmer. I just think it's like- I know. Everything comes in like swings and roundabouts though. How does that look? Can you see me? Stunning, yep. I'm gonna put brown eyeliner on now. I'm using the Melon Dollar Baby Blush by L'Oreal Paris. This is a random brush that's been engraved with my name that we got at an event probably two years ago now. I usually just do blush like up towards my temples and then a little bit over my nose. Oh no, I've totally stuffed this up. How? You were just doing eyeliner. Can you just cut this? Go beep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna apply the, what are you called? Makeup Forever. Ultra HD micro finishing powder, like my T-zone, I do my chin, I do around my mouth, and then I always do under the eye. 
Are you going there, Hannah? I don't know. It's okay. I'm going to do Anastasia Beverly Hills brow freeze. Little trick for you, Hannah, with your um, spoolie. Yeah. Bend your spoolie so that it just is a lot easier to place into the... Ah. So bend the... Like, see the top oh of the Oh, my God. Spoolie? That's so much easier. Well, that's why they're paying me the big bucks. So as I said before, my lashes are really long at the moment. Um, I'm having to curl my lashes in two parts. I'm doing like the base and then I'm doing in the middle. So for mascara, I'm doing Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the Lash Brag. Now, volumizing mascara. I just wanted to show people with normal skin because I usually use Estee Lord Assumptions Rebel, but I did want to show this on because it's just in incredible. Have you tried this? No, I don't have it. I don't have one. Yeah, it's amazing. I'm using the L'Oreal Paris Paradise Ecstatic. I'm your bargain version. Hannah's your bougie version for mascara here. This would be my holy grail if I didn't have oily skin. Oh my God, give it to me. Yeah, but I like using it for Instagram thirst traps because... Oh yeah, smart. Do people know that we're joking about the thirst traps? Like... What I do you mean? Like... We're not. <laughs> but like... We're so not joking, Hannah. <laughs> we're joking. Are we? <laughs> nah. <laughs> Can you have a look? Oh my God. Mm. What Aren't the they... hell? Yeah, They're, it's amazing. That looks stunning. For bronzer, I'm going to be using the Hula Benefit bronzer. And I don't go all over my face anymore. I just... Oh, I'm so proud. I have grown up. I'm going to be using the MAC lip liner in Saw. I've been using this just on the outside of my lip line. And then just like bringing it in a little bit. Blush is Napoleon Purda's Cheek Switch. Cream blush in Pink Lady. I feel like I've done like a really bargain look today. Yeah, I'm not like a, I'm not really a bargain. Um, <laughs> okay. I'm, really bargain. I'm not a bargain makeup person. You're not bargain anything. I'm bargain clothes. You, no, you're not. You literally <laughs> mocked me for shopping at Kmart. You're not bargain um, anything. I love glasses though. I'm going to oh, put okay. a tiny bit of this Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. Have you seen this, Joe? No. Oh. I don't really use highlighter, to be honest. Well, I feel like I'm going to do a tiny, tiny bit. I don't really use it either. Um, so as you'll see what I'm doing here, I already had like some lip balm on my lips and I just like keep adding lip liner until it gives them like a really natural kind of color. This is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD setting powder. Um, but these are the coloured ones. This is universal beige. Um, I'm finished, so... Oh, I'm almost finished. <laughs> my, uh, my daytime kind of glowy... That was quick. Chill vibe. I know, that was only half an hour. And for lips, I'm gonna do... MAC Half and Half Amplified. Mmm, good shade. Are you done? Fully? I'm done, yeah. Have you got a date? My DMs are open. <laughs> Wait, hair out. Woo, okay. can we slow I'm not. I'm not gonna take my headband off. <laughs> slow that down, please. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. I did not know, I know that this was gonna be the context of this video, but I mean, here for it. Thanks for watching our uh, makeup tutorial. If you wanna see more from us, filming at home, let us know. Um, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell button and let us know what you think in the comments. That's it. <laughs> see ya. Say so you see ya. See ya. See ya. <laughs>